And the next question, we're asked to choose a president, a secretary, and a treasurer from among ten people. Applying the fundamental counting principle, we see there are ten choices for the, let's say, let's say we, we break this down into uh, steps, and we could break it down uh, where we choose the president first, the treasurer second, the secretary third. We could choose them in a different order as long as we specify what order. This could be secretary, this could be president, this could be sec uh, uh, treasurer. Um, but the point is, when we decide in which order we're going to choose these people, who we're going to choose in which order, there are going to be ten choices for whoever's first, nine for whoever's second, eight for whoever's third. So there are ten times nine times eight or 720 possible choices. The order matters when you do this. If you were selecting a committee of three, you would have the same three people no matter what order they were chosen, chosen in. Uh, so you would have to divide this number by the three factorial, six ways to order those three people. In this case, you can't do that because if you change the order, you change who occupies which office. Okay. Alternatively, we could say we choose three from ten in order and without replacement. So how many ways are there to do that? Well, this is a permutation. Order matters. We're choosing 3 from 10 without replacement. Order matters. That's a permutation. So it's 10 P3. And by the formula, that's 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial, which is 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial. And as we've seen, you, you, you're going to divide out everything from 7 down to 1. And you're going to end up with 10 times 9 times 8, the same expression we got directly from the fundamental counting principle, or 720.